Hey everybody, Landing Spirit 78 here, and look what I found. It's our, oh, and it's female too, perfect. It's our newest team member. Yep, that's right, the Pokemon, whoa. The Pokemon I was looking for for about 15 minutes was indeed a Pikachu. Pikachu is a very fast electric type. Um, if you, once again, if you're using Charmander, I highly recommend using this put using this Pokemon on your team, temporarily at least, to get you through the second gym, for reasons we'll find out. And if I could catch this Pokemon in eight Pokeballs, that'd be great. Off screen, I didn't catch any new Pokemon. Come on, Pikachu! Uh, uh. However, water types are extremely weak to electric type attacks. Eek. Come on, capture. Please capture, please capture. You are right, female Pikachu, and that is perfect. Girl! Ah, oh, yes, finally got it. Oh, and I have the perfect nickname for this thing, too. So, yep, there's our speedy electric type. Very good indeed. Very, very good. And will I give a nickname to this Pikachu? Absolutely. I shall nickname this Pikachu. Where's the... Oh. Yes, I shall dub it with that name. Because I promised a certain someone I would call it that. You guys know who I'm referencing here. Anyway, as you can see, Pikachu is relatively weak. And it's also in the PC. So, I feel that it is now time for a capture Pokemon montage thing. Yeah, go. While I work on catching these Pokemon, um, I figured I better go over the Pokemon you can find in Viridian Forest besides the three that we've seen already. First off here you can find Metapod. Metapod is the evolved form of Caterpie. Um, it's very defensive and in all honesty it's not that good of a Pokemon. In the wild all it can learn is Harden, so it's very hard to train. Uh, if you want a Butterfree, just train up a Caterpie to level 10 instead of training up a Metapod to catch. The second one here you can catch is Kakuna. Uh, Kakuna is part poison type, like it's a uh, pre-evolved form Weedle. Um, it evolves into Beedrill at level 10, and is also a very defensive Pokemon that in the wild I believe only knows Harden. So, like I said before, if you want a Beedrill, just train up a Weedle to level 10 and it's a lot easier. Metapod is a lot more common to find in Pokemon Leaf Green, where in Pokemon Fire Red you'll have a lot easier time finding Kakunas. However, you can still find them in both versions, but one's just a little bit harder to find than the other. Well, that just sucked. I ran out of Pokeballs right when I found the Metapod. Or, I ran out of Pokeballs when I tried to capture said Metapod. Oh well, um... If you go right next to this tree, you will find an antidote. And, yeah, there's basically not much we can do here in good old Viridian. And there's not even anything I can catch in Viridian now. I swear to God, if I find a shiny Pokemon at all, and if I find one and I have no Pokeball to catch it in, I am going to be royally ticked. And... You know what else is ticking me off? All these random Pokemon. Isn't irony a funny thing, right when I was about to say that I run into a wild Pokemon? Oh, a Pokeball! I can actually catch something. I should probably savor this Pokeball. Do I really want to waste it on this Metapod? I'm gonna try. I am going to try very, very hard to capture this Metapod. Yeah, please let the catch rates, please let Metapod's catch rate be with me today. Please don't let it be annoying to catch like it always is for me. Please, oh please, oh please. Go, my one single Pokeball. Come on, catch, 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 catch. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, that hurts. Oh, 
that doesn't actually hurt, but oh, come on. Uh, the line. <sighs> Free experience for all. And a waste of about two minutes. Hooray! <sighs> anyway, um, if you didn't buy a bunch of antidotes before coming in here, I highly suggest you go back and do that. Because there are a lot of poison type Pokemon in here, along with bug types. And they all know poison sting, which is not good. It can poison you. And poison takes away all of, like, basically... <clears throat> takes away your health little by little until you can get back to a Pokemon Center, even when you're out of the, uh, out of a fight. When you're in a fight, it also takes away your health, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, there's another variation of poison, uh, the poison status called, um, toxic, but we'll get into that later. Here we have our first real trainer battle, actually, uh, besides Gary. Uh, trainers, they have weak Pokemon, normally. Uh, this guy is no exception to that rule. Um, but they give off pretty decent experience for the Pokemon, more than wild Pokemon do, because they're actually owned by trainers, and I guess they're a more valuable experience. Haha, <laughs> Pikachu so fast, your speed reduction doesn't do a thing to it. Yeah, yeah, you just keep doing that. Nobody cares. Nobody cares! Um, I'm not gonna be fighting too many trainers on screen if you poison me, I swear. Way to go, game! Way to rub it just right into my face. Critical hit and poison. I love you, game. I love you. I love you so much right now. Caterpie, not that big of a deal. But anyway, what I was saying is that I won't be fighting too many trainers on screen. Um, probably just the ones that I think I should fight or are funny or are mandatory to get through. Because a lot of trainers you can just slip right by. I will be coming back to fight all the trainers. Like, I will fight all trainers on, like, in the game at some point. I'll just come back and fight them off screen, much like when I come back and catch wild Pokemon off screen. Like I'll have to do for Metapod and Kakuna. Uh, Kakuna, I might just evolve. Kakuna is so rare in this place. It's just as rare as Pikachu. Can't believe I found two while I was looking for these little buggers. Uh, if you haven't noticed, and I probably already said this, um, I am catching every single Pokemon, which means my PC will have, like, the pre-evolved form, the middle-evolved form, and the fully-evolved form of each Pokemon, or the pre-evolved and fully-evolved form of each Pokemon. So it's not like I'm just filling out the Pokedex, I'm filling out the Pokedex to the extreme. I'm poisoned. Okay, that was annoying. Anyway, going up here, can we sneak past this guy? Yes, he's looking the wrong way. Like a noob! Like a noobish bug catcher Pokemon, dude. Um, there's an antidote right there. What happens if I go up here? Is there somebody wanting to fight me? Eh, no, turn around. Ha! Ooh, just snuck by him. Um, yeah, if they catch you or see you, they will want to have a battle with you, so try to stay out of their eyesight. Or their line of eyesight, I should say. Oh, come on. And, oh, just as I was about to say something, the Caterpie had to say otherwise. Alright, let's just get down here. Please don't let me run to any more battles. Oh! It had to be the last little piece of grass, too. Uh, if you come down here, I believe you can get... A potion! Potions are nice. Potions are lovely. They restore your HP because they are nice. I don't know what I was trying to do there. And this guy's mandatory. You can't escape his live Einsight, so I guess I'll just show his trainer battle. So, what's been going on with you guys? Um, this guy only has a Weedle. That's kind of sad. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, this guy only has a Weedle. He's pretty pathetic, but, um, I haven't really been doing much lately if you poison, I swear to God. Haha, no poison! But yeah, I haven't been doing too much lately. Uh, I've been... God dang it, stop hitting that button. Um, been... Playing a lot of Pokemon games lately, like Heart Gold and White, and I'm going to get Pokemon Black for Easter for this weekend. Uh, uh, I also plan on getting a Okamidan this weekend if I don't get Pokemon Black, 
If I get a comet in this weekend, I'll get Pokemon Black for Easter, which is kind of what I'm leading towards, because I can wait for Pokemon Black since I have white. And in black, I'm just getting to help me fill out the Pokedex. Uh, Pikachu, you may have to die here. Oh, another one, really? Wow, they're just handing Pikachus out like candy. Jeez, these things are very rare to find normally. I can never find one this easily. Uh, see that little flicker on screen? That tells you that you're getting weakened by poison damage. Don't bother going to the grass. It's the same Route 2 Pokemon that we saw earlier. Aw, oh, Stormy fainted. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke run, otherwise we'd have to release her. Anyway, going off to heal. Well, that was refreshing. Anyway. And I think I'm gonna call it quits for this episode. Um... This right here is the, uh, the gym. We'll be taking care of that next episode. Um, but yeah, now that we're here in Pewter City, um, there's not really much for me to do with the rest of this episode. I'm not exactly sure how long I've been recording, um, in YouTube time. My time, it's been about a half hour, catching everything. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're spraying repel to keep wild Pokemon out of the garden. Lovely. Uh, anyway, um, next episode we will take care of the gym. But before we do that, I'm actually going to go all the way back to Route 22, which is right off Iridian, as we remember. And there's something that we need to do there that I kind of forgot about. So we're going to take care of that next time. I'm going to catch any wild Pokemon that I couldn't catch um, on the screen, off screen, and you'll see what those are next episode. Then we're going to explore Peter City a little bit and take on Brock, the city's gym leader. So if you like this episode, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.